Hi everybody, welcome to a new video here where I'm going to be teaching you some uh, tricks, some tips, some little cheats. Okay, they're not cheats, but I'm going to be teaching you some uh, some little tips and tricks of playing Spelunky and how to maybe succeed or help you succeed with your journey to wherever the hell you're going, Olmec Hell, whatever you want to do. So we're going to be joining Mr. Yang today. I sure hope that's his name, otherwise this video is gonna probably get a little little racist. I'm pretty sure it's Mr. Yang. Yang, whatever, man. He, he's now called Mr. Yang. He's gonna be taking us through some about 12 different little tricks and tips in Spelunky. So let's jump into it here with the first one. Now this first one, I had no idea. I don't think many people were gonna know this first trick. But it, as you can tell here, on these single blocks, if you're trying to jump up to a second one, you can actually do it. Slow motion, there it is. Uh, it takes a long time to get used to, but uh, you can do it, believe me. Next up is the uh, spikes. Don't worry about the spikes, man. You can uh, you can climb down into the spikes. You can I would, I would do it on many occasions. You can walk through the spikes. Spikes aren't that big of an issue unless you uh, you fall down into them. So if you hold down and just walk off the edge, then... Oh, that was a disaster there. I jumped. Um, you can also use your cape, and you can fly float down safely onto spikes. So this is good for new players. Uh, who worry about spikes more than they should. Third up is a bit of a more of a profession pro pro tip um, of robbing robbing stores. There's a few ways you can do it. This way here is um, if you if you have more bombs than life that you want to waste, you can jump. You want to take out. Oh, I'm going to show it again in slow motion in a second. You're going to take out his one of his goods. You're going to get him about where he is now. What we have to do is uh, jump jump and throw a bomb and that'll piss him off right outside his store and uh, that should dodge the bullets sometimes he'll run straight out and you'll jump on his head and um, destroy him that way I think I do that in the next clip actually we'll, we'll wait for that look how lucky I was there not even close buddy uh, so we bring it out here and we jump up and we jump on his head boom bomb goes down blows him into death uh, we can do it here in the jungle as well we just uh, jump up jump up and throw a bomb and he runs to wherever. So if you don't have life to spare, there's that way, and then there's this way. If you do have life, you whip him, you stand there, and you knock him out. You go grab his shotgun, and you blow him away. That's a bit of a, a harder way to do it. Next up, these landmines. A lot of people will have some issues with these landmines, but honestly, you can pick them up. You stand on them. If they start beeping, you just pick them up. It, it deactivates the mine. You're, Mr. Yang is smart enough to know that he's got to push down the button. And uh, you're safe, so I know this sounds like a really good troll, but uh, you can, you know, footage footage on the screen right now says otherwise. So there's the safe mines. Next up we have the Ash Grave. A lot of people already know about this. If you've seen any Let's Plays at all, you probably already know about this, but you can find a shotgun in the Ash Grave on the, the Dead or Restless levels, which is a Evil Dead uh, reference. Next up, Orange Frogs. If they drop into water, they turn into Blue Frogs. So there's that. Oh my god, get my ass handed to me there. Uh, another thing that not many people know is that you can buy the damsels from the store. So if you pick up the damsel in the store, you can actually buy it instead of buying the kiss. Cost uh, a little bit more, but um, as you can see here, we can... Uh, oh my god, I'm just throwing that dog around. You know what? We're gonna steal this dog. Let's get out of here. See you later. Ah! Next up, you can... Uh, these, some people have these issues with these, these vine areas in the jungle. Uh, which, you know, fair enough. This, these are really, you know, life-threatening. But all you have to do is hold up and whatever way you're going and then just keep clicking jump and you'll be fine. You'll be completely fine. Make sure you're running as well and you'll just get across every time, no matter what. That's my promise to you, baby. Next up, uh, these arrow traps. People have problems with arrow traps. If you drop into one with a mouse, no issue. If you can... Uh, here's something, a skill to perfect. Uh, you can drop down into an arrow trap and actually whip the arrow down. That takes a while to practice, so practice it before you actually do it. Next up, with these idols, if you got nowhere to run, you can just uh, you can just duck next to the foot, and every time, no matter what, it's gonna it's gonna bounce straight over you. No matter what side you're on, uh, it's gonna go straight over you. Check that out. You know, risk free apart from if there's a shop uh, somewhere. Oh god, there's always a shop somewhere, isn't there? Another thing with these boulders is you can put down bombs and you can set them off again. Oh, come on! There's a shopkeeper on this one! Final thing, 
is the thing that got me through hell for the first time. So you're going to want to listen to this, baby. If you've got a Kapala and you're on the temple or the City of Gold, the mummy, if you can get a mummy stuck in a situation like this or above you, uh, you can eat his green acid stuff and that fills up the Kapala and you can get 2 minutes, 30 seconds of health until the ghosts come. Uh, see, took an arrow trap, doesn't even matter. I'll just, I'll just go back up here and get my health back. Thanks, Mr. Yang. You're the best. So there are my uh, 12 tips of Spelunky. If you, again, if I miss something that you think maybe I don't know, or uh, if, you know, if you have any tips for uh, anyone, any players of the, of the Spelunky, let me know as well. And maybe I can make another video featuring everyone's, everyone's tips. But I think this video should cover a lot of things that will help you out in the end. And if you didn't know something, do do hit that like button. But if you know everything, let me know that uh, maybe I'm just a noob that doesn't know as much as I should know. But again, thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this, and hopefully you learned something new. And I will see you guys soon with some more videos.